A very important safety feature on today's modern vehicles is the tire pressure monitoring system. And when folks put their winter tires on, we encourage them to obviously put new sensors in their winter rims. So this vehicle's come in with its winter rims on, which is a good thing with tire pressure monitors, which is an even better thing. But we've got a, a warning on the dash that one of the tires is flat, is not reading. And, and that's the benefit of the tire pressure monitoring system is that it will save you a lot of money. Not only is it a, is a, a safety concern if your tire goes flat and you don't know about it and it'll affect your handling, but it obviously saves the life of your tires and tires aren't cheap. So right here on the dash, we've got a warning coming up showing, take a look at the tire pressure monitor and it's indicating the left front monitor is out the tire is it's absolutely no reading so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and i'm going to show you how we test the, the tire monitors how we replace them and then how we set it up afterwards so when we go up to the driver display obviously it, it sends a warning to the driver that there is a, a problem with the tire and we can see here that the left front tire has a zero reading so if we cycle through the tires there's your right front so it's it's showing 224 kilopascals at 210 224 but when we get to the uh, left front tire it's not showing anything so this could uh, you know often mean that the tire is flat but in this case we can still see the tire has some air so this means the sensor has died so we're going to change it So what we want to do is we want to see if the sensor actually is dead. So right now we're trying to communicate with the sensor and see if we can get a, a reading. And it's not talking to anybody. So this is what your tire pressure monitor looks like. And there's actually a little battery inside here. And it sends out a signal, which we can pick up with these tools. And we use these to, to initialize the system once we replace the sensor. So we're going to go ahead and take this tire off. And we're going to get a sensor in there that's got a fresh battery in it. Another thing to note is with winter wheels, you don't always have to go with the black ugly rim. And in this case, you've got the, nice, the winter tires with actually a, a decent looking rim. So when you go through four months of the winter, your car still looks good. So that always is an option when you go to do your winter tires. So we're gonna go ahead with this uh, repair. All right, we're at the tire machine, and the nice thing with this machine is it's pretty much robotic. So you'll see the rollers come down. They're gonna break the bead here so we can get in for the sensor, and absolutely no damage whatsoever to the rims. That's why we like this machine so much. So Paul will go ahead. We don't actually have to dismount the whole tire to get to this, um, but you'll see what we, the process we go through. Installing the uh, tire pressure monitor, there's actually a very specific torque to uh, the nut that retains the, the monitor and it's 71 inch pounds. So we, to, if you under torque it or if you over torque it, you actually have a leak. So uh, when these are being installed, you want someone that is uh, taking the time to research all of this so that you have proper operation. And now Paul's actually using the torque wrench we keep solely for the tire pressure monitor. So as you can see, it's a very tidy torque wrench. And uh, he'll set it at 71 inch pounds. And, and that's the proper torque for this uh, specific monitor. Yeah, you actually have to look up the torque for various monitors. So there you go, the, the tire pressure monitor's torques, so and now we're just gonna fill it back up with air. And I always like to check the balance when we put a new component in a tire. So we're gonna run it over to the balancer, and we're gonna make sure it's uh, in balance before we install it on the customer's car. The nice thing with this balancer is it actually doesn't require you to punch in any information. It, actually, it has laser beams that figure out the size of the tire. It's an extremely accurate uh, balancer and then it'll pinpoint if there is a weight that needs to be changed with a, a laser.
So there we go, all zeros. So we double checked it, didn't need any weight. It's still in balance. And now we can put it back on the car and we can program it. And at the completion of any uh, tire job, you always want to hand torque the wheels to make sure everything's safe. So what we have to do now is, of course, initialize the sensors, get them to communicate with the car, and uh, basically tell the car that the new sensor is installed. So we're going to start that, that process right here. What you'll hear is, when he brings the tool to each tire, it's going to take in a honk. So as he moves to each tire, it'll honk, and that means it's communicating. And then when it gets to the last tire, it'll honk twice. So the last tire will hear two honks. So there you go, we're all set. The tire pressure monitor is functioning. Uh, no warning lights on the dash. The car is safe and good to go.